Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Blaze. Over the years, I have seen, used, and evaluated just about every product that has been developed for dental cementation, and every year, the list of those products grows. Pity the poor dentist trying to make a decision. It seems like every office is flooded with a confusing array of cements, each designed for a specific technique or type of restorations. In order to practice, we must have a cement for crowns, one for inlays and onlays, another for posts and cores, another for metals, and one special one for those tricky low retentive preps, and certainly another for my favorite, veneers. Each one has its own technique sensitivities and shelf life. It's a nightmare. Leave it to Carrari, the world's leading manufacturer of dental adhesive products like the legendary Panavia Cement and Clearfill SE Bond to solve this dilemma. Carrari's Clearfill Acetic Cement and DC Bond Kit is just such a product. This new product carries with it the excellent research and development which has produced an innovative adhesive and cement that provides everything you need for fast, simplified systems of bonding and cementing of all aesthetic restorations. Before talking about the actual techniques, I would like to explain the basic components of this product. The clear fill aesthetic cement with DC Bond is a high performance aesthetic dual cure resin composite cement system. It includes a self-etch, single-step, dual-cure adhesive, clear-fill DC bond, and a single-component ceramic primer, clear-fill ceramic primer. This combination provides superior aesthetics and outstanding adhesion for every type of ceramic and composite restoration. Clear-fill aesthetic cement is a composite-like material with a high filler load for strength which delivers outstanding adhesion, long wear, and high color stability. Carrari has made realistic shade selection very easy and accurate. The complete kit comes in five tooth blending shades designed to complement every type of indirect restoration. Each shade comes in with a try-in paste which simulates accurately the color and film thickness of the final composite cement. Clearfill Aesthetic Cement is extremely color stable, which means that the color you select will not fade or change over the life of the restoration. Now there is no need to have a separate aesthetic cement and an adhesive cement are in a, a separate light cure only cement for veneers. Clear fill acetic cement is the one product that does it all perfectly. The auto mix syringe mixes and dispenses the cement directly into the restoration. No mess, no cleanup. Clear fill DC bond is the only product in the dental market to offer the combined features of dual cure, etch, prime, and bonding agent all in one. Please, understand what I just said. This is the first product that allows us to use a self-etched bonding agent to cement an indirect restoration. These improved features are the result of new and proprietary Curare technology. Clearfill DC Bond has minimal technique sensitivity and is indicated for all light cure composites, dual and self cure composites, and for bonding all ceramic and composite indirect restorations. Clear fill DC bonds, dual and self cure resins assure reliable bonding for core buildups and indirect restorations. The thin film thickness makes it ideal for use in cementation of indirect restorations. Clearfill Ceramic Primer is a single component adhesive primer 
used to enhance the bond strength between resin-based materials and any type of ceramic restoration, including zirconia, alumina, lucite, lithium silicate, and composites. It contains the universal adhesive monomer, MDP, found in Panavia, which bonds very strongly to metal oxides, as well as a silane coupler to bond with silicone dioxide-based ceramics. It is very easy to use. It does not require mixing, uses a water-free solvent, and does not form a sticky film. Its formulation provides a better shelf life stability compared to other single component products. Clearfill Ceramic Primer can even be used to repair broken ceramic restorations simply, easily, and intraorally without having to use dangerous hydrofluoric acid. Simply sandblast the porcelain, clean with phosphoric acid, rinse, and apply ceramic primer. Nanofill or microhybrid composites will bond to it with no bonding agent. No one else has this technology. Packaged separately, Clearfill Alloy Primer bonds to every metal in dentistry, titanium, precious, semi-precious, even base metals. With these two primers, Clearfill Acetic Cement is the first and only truly universal cement, a cement that will bond to any surface in dentistry. Your patients will appreciate the low post-operative sensitivity produced by the self-etched, dual-cure adhesive action developed by Curare, which successfully seals and protects the dentin. You and your team will appreciate the ease of use the two-year shelf life, and the simplicity of having only one cement for all of your dental cementing procedures. From mixing to matching to final curing, Aesthetic Cement's adhesive system is a clear advance in the aesthetic restorations, the one-box answer to all of your cementing needs. I recently had the opportunity to use Curare's new Clearfill Acetic Cement on a very difficult case. The patient is the wife of a dentist who was very upset with her smile. Her very sharp teeth are badly tetracycline stained and the bite is closed. After a thorough examination and consultation, we decided to treat eight upper and eight lower teeth with porcelain veneers. I was especially concerned about successfully masking the very dark blue-brown chemical staining. By using my standard three-quarter crown veneer preparation, I am able to bring the proximal margins to the lingual, which allows the laboratory better visualization of the margin. It allows adequate space for the lab to create veneers with the golden proportions and it allows better finishing of all margins after cementation. As you can see, the tetracycline staining became even more pronounced after the labial reduction was completed. This is a real challenge for both the lab and the cementing medium. This view of the completed preparation shows the complexity of the situation. The patient was placed in provisional restorations and reappointed. The Achilles heel of every dental product is the failure to understand and carefully follow the manufacturer's instructions. I have developed a consistent technique that we follow for every veneer cementation. This is especially important in aesthetic cementation procedures where the teamwork is critical. The team should actually practice these steps to ensure that they thoroughly understand the manufacturer's instructions. 
After removing the temps and carefully cleaning the preparation, the veneers are tried in using the selected Plearfill Acetic Try-In Paste. While I isolate the teeth with lip and cheek retractors and cotton rolls, the assistant prepares the veneers for try-in in the proper order. I prefer to use plain water for my veneer try-in. However, for those who would rather use it, the Clear Fill Cement Kit Try-In Paste will give a perfect match with the selected final cement shade. We always try to seat the veneers from upper right to upper left in sequence, checking for fit and color. After the assistant wets the etched surface of the veneer, she hands them to me in order for placement. When we are satisfied with the fit and the shade, the veneers are removed in the reverse order and the assistant places them in the light shielded tray in the correct sequence for delivery. If used, the try-in paste is thoroughly removed from the teeth and the veneers. The teeth and the veneers are dried. The teeth are then re-isolated while the assistant applies K-etchant gel, phosphoric acid, to the etched surface of the veneers. Leaves on for five seconds, washes, and dries. The assistant applies clear fill ceramic primer to the etched surfaces of the veneers, then dries with a mild airflow. The dentist applies K-etchant gel to any uncut enamel surface, leaves it for 10 seconds, then rinses and dries. The surface of the dentin and the enamel should be dry. However, do not desiccate the teeth. The assistant places one drop each of clear fill DC Bond A and B liquids into the dappen dish and mixes thoroughly for five to 10 seconds. The mixture must be covered with a light blocking plate and used within 90 seconds after mixing. The mixed bond is applied to the surface of the tooth preparation and left for a minimum of 20 seconds. Dry sufficiently using high pressure airflow for five to eight seconds, the surface of the tooth should have a glossy appearance. Since the bond accelerates the setting time, it should be applied only to the tooth surface, not to the surface of the restoration. Light cure the DC bond for five to 10 seconds, depending on the type of curing light being used. Using the Automix syringe, the assistant will squeeze clear fill acetic cement directly into the restoration with an amount that will allow an excess when seating. The assistant hands the filled veneer to the dentist and it is firmly seated to place and the excess is removed with a gauze or microbrush. Like here the margins for 5 to 20 seconds depending on the type of curing light you are using and carefully finish the margins with scalers and floss. It should be noted that the illustrated instruction cards have a chart describing the curing time based on the type of light being used. Please refer to these instructions if you have any questions regarding curing times with your light. Adjust the bite and polish. Here you can see that immediately post cementation, the color is excellent and the tetracycline stains are completely hidden. The real test will come in the post-op visit in two to three weeks when the color stability is most critical. 